How's it going guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and for the first time in a long time, welcome to MLB The Show. Today I'm playing MLB 15 The Show as I debut a brand new Road to the Show series. Welcome to the Desmond Payne Road to the Show. Now outside of my football content, I don't do a lot else on other games. I've always wanted to go deep into a Road to the Show but the furthest I've made it was 38 episodes with Flash Jackson. That brought us to around his fourth season. I did start some Road to the Show series in the past couple years, but didn't really do anything with them. This time around, I'm looking to change that. Here with switch hitting center fielder Desmond Payne. Now, he is playing the same position as Flash Jackson. Center field is my favorite. But this time, I'm trying to give my center fielder a little bit better arm to start out with. And I want to focus more than I have in the past on power. I only added one point to power, but I will be upgrading that stat very often. He does have higher contact and good speed to begin his career, and so we'll focus on getting those base hits first, and then getting those extra base hits and hopefully some home runs. I also made sure he had a good arm to begin his career. Maybe not great fielding, but I want that strong arm so he can actually have a chance to throw some runners out. So I like the player that we open up with here. As we go through the creation, I ended up giving him Adam Eaton's batting stance. I like a little bit of movement and slightly open, although this isn't really all that open. I do like the stance a good bit. I was either going to do this one or Brian Dozier's, but I liked Eaton's a little bit more. And so there is the creation. Desmond Payne, center fielder, playing in the Eastern Region here for the Amateur Showcase. Three games to get ready and get drafted by a Major League team. I got 500 points to begin upgrading his abilities, and so we'll start with contact. Gotta actually hit the ball. We don't want too many strikeouts. That may or may not have been a trend in the Flash Jackson road of the show, but we're not going to talk about that. I also upgraded fielding and reaction. I didn't get around to upgrading power quite yet, but we do get some help from all of the accessories and equipment you get to use. The bat helps out with power, the cleats definitely help out with speed, and I had a very good ritual. You're going to see it here pretty soon. By the way, do you like the blue glove? Do you like it or not? I think the blue glove is cool. But here is the ritual. There is the watch. And it's plus 6 speed, plus 8 fielding. And then you get plate vision and reaction. So we actually get a good upgraded boost right before these three showcase games. And we'll start things off against the Western Region. And Desmond Payne is going to be in the field, roaming center field. It's already a three to one game. Pitchers aren't doing too much. Payne has to work to his right. He has plenty of speed and gets under it for his first put out here in the showcase. And now let's go to the batter's box, hitting right handed as I can't hit sliders. I just, for some reason, I can't hit that pitch, especially away. But then we'll take this pitch on the outside part of the plate, shortstop handles it, and Payne is out in his first at-bat. Solid contact, however, did get 11 points. Second at-bat, here's the 1-0 pitch, and that is taken away, so a 2-0 count, looking for a favorable pitch here, and I get it, as Payne takes it the other way, solid contact, could not ask for much more than that. Although I would like to start pulling the ball a bit more, that wasn't a situation where I should have. Now you get to see Payne hitting lefty as this inside pitch is hit to left field. This is lazy. I'm not even sure if that guy had to move. And he puts out Payne for the second time. Bottom five. We go back to the field as Payne now has to run to his left. And this one is too far for the right fielder. But Payne has the speed to cut it off. The batter still gets a double. But he may have had a triple if that went to the wall. Top six. Again, lefty as that fastball is away. One and two, two man on, and that is low, evening up the count to two and two. Now if the count's even, that is hit up the middle, and that will fall in for a base hit. The runner from second will come home, as Payne is in with an RBI single, so two for four with an RBI in his first game. Top eight, once again, fifth that bat, this is a fly ball to center field, a bit lazy, as that is easily handled. And that is a 2 of 5 day for Desmond Payne as it comes to an end, but a successful debut here in the showcase. Now game number 2 and we're down 4. We could use some runs. Payne hits it off the pitcher. It goes right to the third baseman who bare hands and throws out Desmond Payne. You'd hope with a speedy center fielder you could beat that out, but it was a good play. 
We'll go top three now in the field as Payne comes in. A little blooper. And the second baseman can't make the catch. So Payne gets the put out at second base. And he's going to get credit for an outfield assist. I'll take it. Whatever we got to do to improve the draft stock, it all looks the same in the box score. And then there we go, pulling a pitch down first base line. The runner advances from first to third, and perhaps Desmond Payne could have made it to second. I didn't want to get too aggressive, but I planned on going to second base anyway. So we'll see just how fast Desmond Payne is. And the pitcher's getting a little bit paranoid. He throws over, and Payne is safe at first. Getting the lead once again, and this time a pitch out. So they're definitely thinking that Payne could be stealing second. And they're going to pitch out once again. All right, that's three times they've been afraid of the speed. Here it goes. Desmond Payne taking off for second, and he's there easily. That should definitely help the draft stock as Payne easily gets second base. However, we did not score in that inning as Payne is up once again. We're still scoreless. Lifts this one to deep right center and near the track. That is tracked down by the right fielder, but at least he's making good contact even when he's getting out. Back in the field, Payne gets under it, an easy fly ball out, no trouble so far in the field. And this one, this is where I gotta get much better with my timing. That's inside, but an inside out swing just pops it up, and that's an easy out for the shortstop. A 104 day in game number two, that brings his total to three of nine, so that's definitely acceptable. And we have a chance to upgrade some more ratings, we're gonna go with power. And now we'll have the final showcase game as Payne comes in hitting 333. He has B potential. One last game to raise the draft stock. Here top first and Payne follows off that fastball that could have been crushed. Now the 1-1 pitch and Payne can't check his swing in time so that is now 1-2. Trying to avoid the strikeout and he sits on it. But it's just a lazy ground ball to short and an easy out. Still gets 14 points for it though, getting some credit I'm not sure he deserves, but I'm not going to complain. Later in the fourth inning, Payne gets underneath one and this one is lifted to center field, but it's not going to get too far as the center fielder easily makes the out. So far, Payne has displayed some power, but it really hasn't been functional as they've all been lazy outs. Now we go to the sixth inning where a slider is taken away that makes the count 3-0. So now we'll just sit back, but the fastball is in there, making the count 3-1. and one. A runner is on first base as the 3-1 pitch is hit. It was a solid pitch, and the second baseman couldn't handle it. The runner's going to advance all the way to third as Payne is now at first, and he gets credit for a base hit. I figured this would be an error, but once again, Payne gets credit for something he maybe shouldn't have. That is his fourth hit of the showcase. He also has an outfield assist, an RBI, and a stolen base. Here, second base is open, so guess what? Desmond Payne takes off, and he's going to be in there even easier than the first time he tried to steal. Excellent jump, and just no chance. We're going to the top of the eighth, maybe his last at-bat, as this one is handled by the second baseman. Not a great way to finish the showcase, as his day is done. A 104 day, a 4 of 13 overall showcase, good for a 307 average, which I'll definitely take after the days of Flash Jackson. The showcase is complete, and Payne is given a draft stock of early first round. I thought he played decent in the showcase, and he was given a potential here. 54 overall plus 6, I believe, thanks to the equipment I have on him. And then we upgrade one more time prior to the draft. And so the Arizona Diamondbacks have the first overall pick, but they don't take Desmond Payne. They take a third baseman. Next up, the second overall pick is the Colorado Rockies, and they take a shortstop, Tom Gilbert. So two infielders off the board now at the Texas Rangers at number three, and they end up selecting Desmond Payne. So he goes number three overall. I would have guessed third round before third overall, personally. But here we go, Desmond Payne is in the Texas Rangers organization. We sign with the team right away, and it's a favorable situation to be in, actually, as the Major League starter is Leonis Martin, who doesn't have a very high overall. So if Payne can play better than Flash Jackson did, perhaps he can make it to the Majors fairly early in his career. We will close this video out with some batting training as Desmond Payne gets some full at-bats to get some more points to upgrade his abilities, although this is a little bit more difficult. And then in episode 2, I will have the first 10 games 
in Desmond Payne's double-A career with the Frisco Rough Riders. The showcase went pretty well. Of course, being drafted third overall is very good. And now we'll see Desmond Payne's road to making it to the major leagues. We'll see if he stays with the Texas Rangers or if they trade him to another team that hopes that Payne can be their next star center fielder. Anyway, if you have any feedback, leave it down in the comment section. I know this, this sequence here was not very good. I wasn't making very good contact. Picked it up toward the end. There is some of the best display of Payne's power as he hits a double over the right fielder's head and gets an RBI in the process. It's an okay batting training to close this one up as next time around Desmond Payne makes his minor league debut as Frisco takes on Arkansas. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the first episode in the Desmond Payne Road to the Show. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, please leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.